Hello, I'm Jay, and welcome to Jay Designs. Today, I'm not gonna be designing anything. I'm just gonna show you my camping setup that I use when I go camping. So, hope you enjoy. The first thing I'm gonna cover is how all this stuff fits into the bed of the truck that's behind the camera. Let's get into it. So here's how I load the truck up for camping. Normally that crap's not on the other side of the seat. Right here, the winch stays in the inside of the interior to keep weight off the nose of the truck. ARB fridge, still relatively easy to open with it in the truck. Bunch of camping gear on the other side of that. Come around the back, portable toilet, toolbox for firewood, ironing board. Those things are freaking awesome. And this, this box carries all the other miscellaneous stuff I actually had the lock to this one. I don't have the lock to the other one, so that one gets all the important stuff. And then I always put a nice big jug of water for washing dishes and stuff like that. Drinking water stays in the fridge. So I have a big ARB fridge here. It's a fridge freezer combo. Normally when I'm driving around in the truck, it just runs off of the cigarette plug in the truck and it's still openable inside of the truck. But generally when I do campus stuff, I pull it out of the truck um, to keep everything inside cold, I just normally have freezer packs in the freezer section, and then we transfer them over to the fridge side uh, to keep any of the contents in here from going bad. And then obviously when I'm camping, we just pull this thing. Generally have a friend help me because this thing empty is like 70 pounds, but I'm all by myself just to do this setup today. So rah, carry it all by my lonesome. Now obviously these toolboxes are great for holding stuff keeping things dry and whatnot, but they have another good use. And uh, once I'm done unloading them, I'll show you. They make really good seats. So they work good in the bed for storing stuff, and then you can seat, I don't know, three people on each toolbox around like a campfire or something. Works great. Now, one of the most important things about camping is uh, you gotta have somewhere to sit. I don't always have these toolboxes out. When it's just me, for example, I leave the toolboxes in the truck and consequently, I need somewhere to sit. So what I use for that is one of these awesome little folding chairs. As you can see, it's a very small chair. It's just for one person. And we'll go ahead and get this set up for you. It's got a bunch of little uh, silly things and it just all flips out. And they all kind of snap into place. They have bungee cords that keep them in the right spot. I'm going to do this all real time for you. There's the basis of the chair. And then, super simple to just set the base in there. All these guys slide on. And on the back, it's got nice little pull tabs to help you... Uh, tension them on there. There's one. There's two. And just like that, we got a chair to sit next to, sit next, sit next to a nice warm campfire. I'll put the uh, name of that up on the screen now. Speaking of a fire, this is obviously just a mock fire here. But when you have a fire, a really nice thing to have when you're out in the middle of nowhere is a welding glove. Um, I have a ton of these old ones. As you can see, this one's pretty much done. Um, this is nice because you can literally just reach your hand right into the fire and pick up pretty much burning hot logs and for the most part, not burn yourself. There's definitely some deep burn marks in this glove, but they work great. Also, another thing I like having when I'm wheeling, I always have a full size shovel with me. Um, this is great for when you're wheeling because you can reach the shovel all the way up underneath the truck to clear dirt from underneath it. Um, and it's also great for like covering up the, the ash on the fire or just generally moving things around on the fire. So always have one of those with me. Now let's move on. So I wouldn't normally run a setup like this one. This is normally for when I have a ton of people with me. Normally it would just be me sitting in a chair like that. These toolboxes would be really nice for just sitting a ton of people around the campfire. Normally bring binos, uh, machete, folding saw. I'll show that in a second. 
obviously the toolbox is a great to sit on too because obviously you have all your gear that you need right under your seat i don't know why that wouldn't open <laughs> um arb fridge freezer uh, this only runs when it's hooked up to the truck i don't have any kind of remote battery system to actually run that guy remotely partner steel co uh, cooker and then i either run a big gas bottle or i just run a simple little adapter on it and then that allows me to run one of these tiny bottles if we're just gonna if we're not gonna do a ton of cooking once you're done cooking you got to be able to do dishes um, i just run one of these little reusable water things and i have it set up like this so the water actually drains down and we can capture all of our wastewater that way if you're brushing your teeth or doing dishes with like some soap you're not getting that into the environment if dishes need to soak i'll generally run them in uh, that purple bucket works great and also one of the best things in the world is an ironing board that right there that everything's sitting on is an ironing board they're super lightweight they deploy super fast it costs pretty much nothing <laughs> my mom was going to throw that away one day and i kept it i'm so glad that i did because i it's awesome for working on stuff you put tools on there i don't know i love the thing go get you one now one of the worst things when you're out in the middle of nowhere camping is going to the bathroom um it's not fun so what I do use for that is just a portable toilet. Um, generally, I'll set this up a lot further away than it is right now, but this is just to show you what's going on. Um, it's just a, I think it's a five gallon holding tank in the bottom. It holds water in the top and it's got a little hand pump right there that flushes the toilet. And then you just pull this guy and that dumps, dumps all the, uh, the waste into the holding tank. Um, it's not the greatest thing in the world. It's, it's freaking tiny. So if you've got a big butt, this won't work for you, but, uh, Works great for me. I got a little butt. All right, so that's my camping setup. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, as, far as, sleep, as far as sleeping quarters, all I do is I just use a ground tent. I'm not gonna show that. You know what it looks like. It's just a little uh, Coleman four-person tent. Works great. Um, I plan on doing a uh, variant of a rooftop tent for the truck that is behind the camera. And I've also, I've said it on this channel plenty of times before, but I'm gonna be building the camper, um, so probably won't be using this setup for too much longer but I've used this setup for plenty of times and you could easily seat like uh, what seven people with this and if somebody sat on the bed of the truck even more so and this whole setup fits into a access cab six foot bed truck so that's awesome um, before I close I just want to show you this folding saw real quick so this guy's really cool for cutting wood it obviously folds up into this super small slim form factor flip the handle out chopper over connect that to there and and i miss it <laughs> and bam yeah and it works good too no affiliation with the company just think they make a really cool product check it out super lightweight too can't beat that so i know i didn't design anything today but with that I'm Jay, you've been watching Jay Designs, and thank you so much for watching. Follow along with the build at oak underscore taco on Instagram.